Well, I've got your breaking cruise news. Norwegian Cruise Lines changing health protocols, doing away with the mask, and welcoming little kids back on board. Cruise news. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with some uh, hot cruise news. This is only a couple of hours old. Norwegian Cruise Line has updated their health protocols, updating their website, and beginning on March the 1st, 2022, uh, there will no longer be a mandate or a mask requirement on board. Norwegian's still recommending the mask, but the decision whether to mask up or not will be entirely at the discretion of the passenger. How about that? Uh, of course, it's not that surprising. Norwegian, one of the cruise lines that went maskless for most of the cruise restart. We were on the Norwegian Joy in early December. There wasn't a mask requirement. Uh, that has been part of their strategy. So again, it's not super surprising that they're one of the first companies to drop the mask requirement. Uh, but what is surprising is they are now inviting unvaccinated kids on board. Uh, if you're unable to get the vaccine, if you're four and under, uh, unable to get the vaccine, you can now cruise on Norwegian Cruise Line. Everybody who's eligible for the vaccine will have to be vaccinated, so five and older. Uh, that's kind of the way that Norwegian's been doing it. That's not a huge surprise, but the big surprise is uh, the wee little babies uh, now being able to cruise again. And then one more change, they've changed their testing protocol. We've gone through a few iterations. For the whole time, you, you got tested at the port on embarkation day prior to your cruise. Uh, there was some period of time where it made sense to take a home test also and bring those results. Uh, but now they're doing away with testing at the port. Uh, it will only be the home test. You have to get that two days before you sail, uh, much like many other cruise lines. And real quick, let me remind you about the show I did earlier. Uh, celebrity, they're in trouble with the U.S. Navy for what seems like, I feel like, maybe a crazy reason. Uh, make sure that you've watched that video. I will leave a link to it in the very first comment. So uh, make sure you don't miss out on that. It, again, like I said, it's a crazy story. Of course, this turn of events begs the question, is this just the beginning of dominoes to fall? Will we see many more cruise lines relaxing their restrictions as we've seen Omicron on the decline, as we seem to be getting to a better place in the pandemic? Is that what's in store for us when it comes to cruising? Or will this be another example of Norwegian kind of marching to the beat of their own drum, which isn't uh, inconsistent for Norwegian? So it will be interesting to see what happens. Only time will tell. Uh, what do you think? Leave a comment below. Is this right on time? Is this too soon? Do we think other cruise lines will do this? Uh, what do you think is happening? Uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. Please do two big things for me. If you're unsubscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It helps out a ton. And hit the like button. Let's YouTube know that this video is solid and they can show it to other people just like yourselves. Thank you. This is Tony for Lido Look. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.